being a parent is the hottest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Almost being a mother is the hottest thing. A struggling mother came to the street of TikTok to rant and talk about how tiring it is to raise a child, how she doesn't even get to sleep well, how she doesn't even have time to rest. She, she's just all over the place and ranting. If you can hear from her voice how tired she is, it feels like she even wants to start crying. Or maybe she even cried. It's This is a struggle of motherhood. And I love seeing videos like this because not all mothers come to the internet to really talk about these things. It's like an abomination where I'm from. So when I see videos like that, I always try to. I'm always happy to see mothers coming to see. I'm not, it's not like I'm happy that they are struggling or something, but I'm happy that they are coming out to say so that people that want to go into some things like this, they will be right aware and, you know, understand the journey that they are entering because this is not a joke okay and some people that are still sh trying to pick between child free and being a mom they can know that okay this is the this is this is it this is it okay <laughs> am i am i in for this that is one of the reasons why i bring these videos for you all to watch so let me roll the clip for you all to watch to the end then we'll come back and talk about it hey guys this is just like a video because i honestly don't know what to do anymore i feel like i'm literally going crazy every single day and i feel so beyond alone <laughs> like being a parent is the hardest thing i've ever experienced in my life almost being a mother is the hardest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I always wanted to be a mum. I always wanted to have kids. I just thought things would be different. I don't know if I romanticised motherhood or I romanticised how I thought this life was going to go. And now that I'm here, it's like I hate it. Like I hate it. I hate it every single day. I don't want to be here and it's like I know I have nobody else to blame but myself so I don't need people coming and telling me that it's my fault because I chose to have these kids I know that I know that it's my fault I know that I can't blame anybody else it was my decision that led to these led to the situation that I'm in but it doesn't make it any easier it doesn't hurt any less <laughs> Being a mother of a toddler is extremely challenging. The screaming, the tantrums, the yelling, the overstimulation. Like I'm just touched out. Like I just need space. I need a break. And I don't get that. I don't I don't get a break. I don't get space. I don't get time to myself. If he doesn't nap, I legit am just up 24-7 on go mode like without breathing without eating without thinking without stopping for a moment because like those naps are just the, that crucial part of your life whether it's an hour two hours or like three hours like it allows you to just sit down and breathe and just forget like, this shit is hard and like i'm just really tired like I'm really fucking tired and I, and I just don't have anyone around me that like understands what I'm going through or like is a mother and like I just feel like I'm constantly failing every single day like I don't know what to do anymore it's like it's the point where I don't want to be here I don't want to be here for my kids and like I don't want to be here for myself I don't know. I don't want to cry on the internet, but it's like I don't have anybody else to talk to. I don't have anyone else to turn to. I don't have the community. I don't have the people around me. Like it's just me, and I'm stuck. And I'm like I'm trying so hard every single day, but it shouldn't be this hard. 
I don't want to try anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Like, it's just, I don't know, and it's my fault. Like, I know that it's my fault because my decisions led to this. I chose this. I just thought it would be different. I thought it would be easier in some ways. I thought, I don't know what I thought. I don't know. I just feel like I'm losing my mind. Today, there's actually no stitch on this video. I really don't know why. But then, I'm just bringing this video for you all to watch to see the struggle of motherhood. I know most of my subscribers or most people that watch my videos, they know that motherhood is hard. In short, when I post videos like this, it'd be like, why are you not informed or motherhood is hard, you know? But then, I know that there are a lot of people that do not know. I have a friend that just put to bed of recent and I was telling her why she was pregnant. Girl this thing are you really ready are you really ready are you really ready she was like i'm ready it's all i want yada 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 guys she was still in the hospital after her cs she started she started as in the day i don't even know how to explain it it wasn't even up to a week she started regretting it like she started regretting it. she started feeling she started crying she started seeing how hard it is she started seeing that nobody was actually going to be there for her she was actually thinking a lot of people would be there for her the thing, people that she already programmed herself that like, oh this person is going to be there it's going to be there i was telling her they look like they're going to be there they look like they, they want she said that this person wanted her to have the child okay fine after i said they want you to have the child but when the child is born you as the mother you are going to be the one that is going to be the main person for this child you i don't know how to explain it but the village you think that's going to be there for you is not going to be there for you so brace up you know she was like no no guys it wasn't even up to a week in the hospital she didn't even see the village anymore she started with a pain to serious section it was hell for her and that clicked on her head to feel like oh i knew you told me maria i knew you told me about this yada 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 but she's trying to you know see how she can get used to it it doesn't get better that's just it it doesn't get better you just try to get used to it and try to manage your situation around it but what i'm trying to say is some mothers do not know that this thing is hard they feel like oh mine is going to be different mine is good. but generally the ones that are actually different maybe one out of nine one out of ten that is different and why theirs is different is because probably they are desperate to have the child they are so much like they've waited for so long it's like the best even at that they have helps around them they not just one like two or three helps around them they have sisters they have family members around them they have friends that are supporting them it's not going to feel so hard for them but if you're alone you just feel like oh let me just have this child because people say i should have this child is a normal thing to do at the end of the day it's not what you think it's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> to be honest i feel really sad for the um for the creator that made that video I, you can hear the cry of the of the son crying throughout the video like i don't know about you all but for me i can't stand a baby crying i don't know like i'm already going insane seeing a baby crying like i don't i really don't know what to do should i carry you should i sing for you should i give you food like can you just talk and tell me what you want i can't i don't know i don't know it's i'm always confused when i say child crying a baby especially child that cannot talk just tell me what you want i will give it to you but they can't talk you have to actually do a lot of things to please them you don't even know what's wrong with them are you having headache do you have tummy ache i don't know you can tell and the child was crying throughout i can imagine but she doesn't even sleep ah it's crazy and to think for a child to be giving her that 
struggle till to, to that third last stage, I can imagine what she went through when it was a baby. I can imagine what she went through while she was breastfeeding. I can imagine all those times. And it's really sad when mothers don't have anybody around them to help them. Seriously, sometimes when they even think that they have, some of them don't even understand what they are going through. They feel like, oh, this is a normal thing, don't worry, don't worry, it's a normal thing. But some people were not even informed. To be honest, some people were not informed. And some that were informed were trying to feel like theirs is going to be better. But that's just life. And the society where I am, which is Nigeria, you, you dare not open your mouth and say motherhood is hard. You dare not. You see people that have three, four children coming to tell someone that doesn't have a child or that just got married, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, when are you going to have children? And at the end of the day, you tell them you don't want to say, ah, this, 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 you find out that they are actually struggling to to death to, to be able to take care of the three children that they have. They tell you, hmm. in fact, if that is what they have thought about self, they won't have even done it. But they say it in a very low tone so that nobody will hear them, because it's an abomination. I'm saying it again. It's an abomination where I am to say something like that to people or say it out. It feels like you hate your child. It feels like you you hate your life you can't say it out you have to just they tell you when her mother is doing it what is there and that's what men make i'm sure most of the people that make women feel like that is men men make you feel like that is why you're come to this hurt so you have to procreate so why are you god has given you the strength yada 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 you can go through it but really like go deep into it and let's talk about it no one wants to talk about it so when i see videos like this i always try to bring it out because the struggle is real like it's totally real so i'd like to know your thoughts about this down comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point my name is maria david and i'll see you all in my next video bye